Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Welcome back to the last, like, I'll say normal, super, not like super exciting chapter of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everybody. We're on chapter 13. If memory serves, this is like the last chapter where it's still kind of like relatively laid back and like just kind of cool. Chapter 14, things get a lot more interesting than chapter 15. Oh man, I can't We wait. spent 30 minutes talking to people. That doesn't seem to add up. No. But now we're on chapter 13 at 12.51 a.m. At 1 o'clock a.m., Zhao is going to get executed. Okay. I visited the novelist's apartment again. I'm hoping to be able to do something about this mistaken identity kidnapping. As long as there's any possibility that it could be his own daughter who was kidnapped, I doubt the Justice Minister will call off the execution tonight. This poor girl. Yeah. The key to dispelling the Minister's doubts is now in bed, coughing. And I need to use this key before that prison van arrives to pick up our death row inmate. She has such a weird walk. She's like purposefully stick- My darling angel, oh just listen to that cough. It sounds a little Russian. <laughs> just, oh, just listen to the cough. <laughs> listen to the cough. Okay, the lady walks like sticking her butt out really far. Yeah, like the stepsisters from Cinderella. <laughs> yeah, I think the, I think they, they just have a lot of padding on their butt actually. Maybe. Just because of the dresses that they wear. Maybe. But enough you about ladies' butts. Thing. <laughs> Did you leave your nice warm bed to go out into the night and play? A daughter after my own heart. But I must confess I didn't even notice you were gone. I'm the worst mother in history. Not even close. <laughs> I didn't go out to play. I went to buy Papa a birthday present. He said he wanted a new lighter. But that's no reason to go out this late at night. It's true. When my fever finally went down, I could barely move before that. But look at what it brought you. Your fever's worse than ever. Here's to the feverish passion of my darling angel. Mama? Yes, darling? Let's call Papa and wish him a happy birthday, even though it's already past midnight. Not tonight, Amelie. I hate you! Looks like this little girl was safe all along. I already knew that, but I'm still relieved all the same. And there's another lucky development, too. Amelie wants to call her father. Now if I can just make use of that feeling somehow, that would surely bring the Justice Minister around. Trick time! And hey! We can have a new thing that we can manipulate. <laughs> um... Hey! Call him. <laughs> the phone! No, just keep writing about the, the, Mr. Prime Minister. Minister. Inspired by her own. I think she thing. just has a hunchback slightly, and that's why she's bending over. Her back is up there, that's her butt, clearly. Amelie, I told you you couldn't call him tonight. Why not? Listen to me, Amelie. Your father's about to make a big mistake. I want him to reconsider. What do you know about it, Mama? He's the one who's the Justice Minister, you know. All you do is write weird novels. Um. What do you mean, weird? How dare you disparage my romantic expressions? Now you've really made me angry. You really have. How do you expect me to forgive such an insult? That escalated quickly. Someone may be a hungover. A smidge. Just, I hate you! You mean drunk. Hungover <laughs> happens in the morning. Hungover. <laughs> Unless you got drunk really, really early. early. <laughs> there. I'll be keeping my eye on you now, so don't do anything mischievous. Like calling your father. I hate you! I can hear you, you know. Jeez. Whew, what a pair. 
I don't know what this family's issues are, but I do know I have to do something about this lady so Amelie can call. She I moved think, her whole desk closer to the bed. I think I know what we need to do. I think we need to go and make the dog bark. <laughs> um, go back to Missile. I'm not sure if we can, actually. <laughs> I'd better not put out the lamp right now. It'll only pour oil on the flames of anger in this lady's heart. If I want to give Amelie a chance to use the telephone, I have to think of a way to keep her mother out of the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my deadline. Oh goodness, look at the time. As I bask in my tale of love, time has been moving on at the speed of light. Hmm, so even though she's immersed in love, she can still hear this, eh? But this won't buy enough time for her daughter to make a phone call. There must be something else I can distract her with. <laughs> Drop the mouse on her. <laughs> Too weak. <laughs> well, well, having a good time, are we, little rodent? Sweet dreams. What? Did you fancy the vintage, my whiskered friend? Rats are tough. <laughs> they can survive a lot. Still, That's, this that was still brutal, like though. Look at that there. He died. She's more powerful than I thought. It looks like she tipped the wall candelabra to one side, too. Hmm, the angle of those candles. I get the feeling I've seen something very similar to that quite recently. <laughs> was I supposed to do that? No! Oh, that was right. Oh, heavens, a blackout at a critical time like this? Of course, dim lights suit the st story of love very well, but I myself am not very fond of the dark. Oh, yes, GG Galaxy. What? The chandelier just narrowly missed the back of my head. I love the thrill of romance, but I don't need these kinds of thrills, thank you. Oh, yeah, she lights it on her butt, that's right. I almost forgot about that. Ooh, how atmospheric. <laughs> she used to this? That that was a weird animation. <laughs> what the heck? Did she, did she plan this ahead of time? Just in case. Oh, what a wonderful atmosphere. Perfect for a cl clandestine meeting in the dusky twilight. <laughs> There's a million dollar word trick time. Oh wait. I don't exactly know how this situation came about, but I think I owe the rat an apology. The rat seems to be unconscious. But now that the room has changed into this, maybe I can use it somehow. Can't take possession of the... chandelier. I was hoping it hit her. <laughs> Not I don't want to kill her! No, but like, I was hoping it hit her in the head, so then maybe she'd just like... Get knocked out or something? Yeah. Uh, yes, to examine the dictionary. Hmm, the lady's dictionary. Wasn't this on her desk before? The poor Fane, destined to never be returned to the bookshelves. What's the name of that word again? Clandestine. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I thought this thing was moving. No. And I thought it could move over to the...
Try closing the valve, or not the valve, the latch. Can't. Oh, you can't. Oh no. If I could, if I could like shut the rat's tail in it or something. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh goodness! Look at the time as I bask in my tale of love. Times moving on. <laughs> so you wanted to hit the sh make the chandelier hit her head. I better not put out the lamp. Okay. I just thought maybe like it could surprise her and then she'd be freaked out. What? Aww. Sorry. Maybe we can let the car light the carpet on fire. No wait, no, no carpet puts out fire, right? Um, only if you like throw it on top of the fire. Okay. To cut off the fire's oxygen mm. supply. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm just. Gonna You've kind it. of had the right idea before. You just didn't execute it. Okay. Why do you keep making it burn brighter? <laughs> I thought maybe that could work. You, you were trying to catch her hair on fire? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that was, was close. <laughs> Get on the trick button. <laughs> Which is on the opposite side. Oh my <laughs> gosh! <laughs> Matrix dodge! <laughs> Such insolence. Wait for it to get right under it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez! I'm amazing. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go for the Yzma. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Her wine's still there. Amelie, Amelie, help me! Mama! That weak. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. I'm too dizzy. I can't get up. I'm afraid I can't help you right now. <laughs> I think she's actually too dizzy. No. Uh, I think she's being sassy. <laughs> Here's to the weakness of my darling angel. <laughs> that chandelier is on there tighter than her wedding band. She won't be able to escape on her own. Time to move and manipulate the situation. Turn the knob. If I recall, the novelist said she didn't like the dark. I don't want her thrashing around any more than she already is. Better not put out the lamp right away. No, but then she can't see the... The sweetness. I can't remember how you get, get to the, the phone. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I shuddered at. What? What happens if you make the chandelier burn brighter while she's around it? <laughs> if that's even still an option. We're gonna find out. Oh, you can't reach it. Okay, that's that's good actually. Oh, let's turn it. <laughs> help! Help! What is going on here? Amelie, look, do you see this? Help me, please. Ugh, sorry, I'm too sick. I can't get out of bed. My head's spinning, so I guess she'll just have to stay up there spinning too. <laughs> I don't know if she's supposed to be sarcastic like that or not. <laughs> I think she's being sarcastic. She, her mom's been a it's real pain in the butt. It's true. Literally. Literally, but looks like this lady won't be going anywhere for a while. Now the little girl can call her father. The only trouble is she can't reach it. I guess I'll have to deliver it to her. <gasps> oh, that's right! The angle of those candles. I saw something very similar just recently, didn't I? I mean, I wasn't expecting doing this. This is fun. So my wonder is, if you make the candles burn brighter, then you swing harder. Now quickly go over to the chandelier and make it burn brighter. Because I'm pretty sure what you have to do is you got to light the, shand the candelabra. And then that'll, that'll burn the rope again.
Oh, the, the the mouse is, is alive. <laughs> oh, this is a new predicament. Now I really owe that poor rat an apology. But this might be a really good chance for me too. I have to get that phone to Amelie. This is like something out of um, <laughs> oh, what is it, Luigi's Mansion? If you had a ghost and a chandelier. <laughs> in a chandelier. That poor lady. But also, she's kind of a terrible mother, so. <laughs> Sorry, Remy. <laughs> Mama! What in the world is going on here? <laughs> She's still relatively relaxed. What in the world is going on here? Not like, ah, please! Yeah. <laughs> Oh, goody. Excuse me, Minnie, while I call Papa, okay, Mama? I'll only be a minute. <laughs> she has the cute smile down, though. <laughs> oh, don't you dare, Amelie! I won't have it! But I want to hear all the conversations. Hello, Papa! <gasps> Amelie! Is that you?! Of course it is, silly. Who do you think it is? But I heard they said you were. No, never mind. It's nothing. Silly old Papa. Happy birthday, Papa. Birthday? Oh, right. It was. He would have almost died on his birthday. It was my birthday today, wasn't it? I'm sorry we couldn't celebrate tonight. Thanks to me, old Mama. Oh, you're mean old mama. I mean, your mother. What is she up to right now? Well, she's certainly up, all right. My stubborn mother is kind of tied up at the moment. Get me down! She needs to be taught a lesson for causing us so much trouble. No, Amelie. I'm the one who was wrong. Huh? Could you tell your mother I'm sorry? What do you have to be sorry about? I was just about to make a terrible decision. But it's alright now. He smiled! Oh, okay. You're still young. There's a lot I can't tell you right now. The job of Justice Minister is very complicated, you see? Okay. But just remember, you're always the most important thing to your mother and me. Did you do something naughty to your mother? If you did, I want you to apologize. I don't think I did anything. But okay, I'll apologize. That's a good girl. Okay, Papa, have a good night. Love you. I love you too, Amelie. Good night, sweetheart. Uh, Mama? I'm sorry. My goodness, what if the sudden- or why the sudden change? I- I guess I was wrong about you. I didn't understand. Oh, Amelie. I thought all you ever did was write these weird novels. That makes me a little sad. Papa said the job of a justice minister was complicated. Yes, your father's job is very complicated and difficult. That's why I couldn't talk to you about most of it. But you're right, I shouldn't treat you like a little girl anymore. You're growing up, after all. And I promise to stop calling your novels weird and actually try to read them. What? Oh, uh, maybe you'd better wait until you're a little older for that. <laughs> They're a bit raunchy. <laughs> Ugh, okay. So, Amelie, if you're feeling a little more charitable toward your old mother, do you think you could let me down now? You know, I would love to do that, but I'm just feeling too dizzy and sick right now. She's not, there's no reason to be sarcastic anymore. She actually, yeah, she just passed out. Tonight on the holiest of nights, my deadline. I just think it's kind of funny that she's like, "Sorry, mom. Can't, <laughs> Sorry, can't let you down." <laughs> Looks like the only thing pressing on me will be this chandelier. Here's to Papa and Mama's darling angel. <laughs> she's being surprisingly chill about this. All of a sudden, everybody's getting along again. It's such an abrupt change. I can't understand it. Is that what family is all about? Yeah. In any case, the situation has changed dramatically now. 
I just hope the mysteries of me can be cleared up as quickly as the furrows on the minister's brow. I don't know where Camilla is, but at least now the justice minister's doubts are dispelled. I think I'll go back to his office where everybody's waiting for the prison van. The minister's family now has their smiles and harmony back, but Camilla is still in the hands of the kidnappers. I decided to go back to the justice minister's office. Surprisingly, the minister's brow is still just as furrowed as ever. Quite unlike a father who has just learned his daughter is safe. Well, because they might still just kill off the hostage. Right. That's the thing. He seems to still be in the depths of despair. The atmosphere in this room is very difficult, different now. It seems to have an air of unfocused anxiety. I get the feeling something big is going to happen. Guys, everybody's an alien. This is not Professor Layton. I don't know, there's aliens in this. You don't know that! You just think the blue people are aliens. Yeah! Because <laughs> they have blue skin. That's racist! That's not- okay, that's not <laughs> why. They're also just being weird. <laughs> I, I mean, they I... haven't spoken a different language yet, but... <laughs> I just found out that my daughter is safe. I'd like to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for my daughter's sake and for mine. No need to thank us, Mr. Minister. It was nothing. What did he do? <laughs> but one question. I can't help but notice. Your daughter is safe. And yet you still look unhappy. How about a little smile for us? Nah. Of course, there is still the matter of the other kidnapping victim. <laughs> but is that really the only thing that troubles you, Mr. Minister? Please, let me think in peace until the prison van arrives. Oh, is this the chapter where we get the next big piece of info? I wonder. I wonder if Lynn is at the park yet. Until we get her report, I guess I'll just have to wait here. This continued distress of the ministers. Is there really something more to it like the Inspector White in White said? Here's the thing about Justice Minister. I'm sure, like, that that's a job that still exists anyway. Like, having- I think so. Definitely in some countries. Definitely in some countries. I bet you, not that this comes up all the time, but this has probably happened where it's like, someone dies or there's this ransom that needs to be fulfilled and that's- Terrible. So I can't right. imagine the anxiety this dude's in, but I want to talk to him. Hello, Justice Minister. How about you finally admit I do exist? Th that thank you I expressed. That was meant for you. You're a ghost, aren't you? And you have the power to control and manipulate people, don't you? No, I don't have that kind of power. I can't control you. We've actually known you know, for quite a while now, but I had no idea they were powers of the dead, of, of ghosts. Known? Known about what? We knew about the existence of somebody who could control others, a manipulator. What's this? That's why your execution order caused me so much anguish, Detective Jowd. Mr. Minister, why don't you just tell us everything you know? Yes, I suppose I should. You need to hear all of it. All about the huge mistake this foolish man made. Okay. There are some cases in this country right now that are under a top secret investigation. Of course, you wouldn't have known about them, Detective Jowd. <laughs> right. They don't share too much top secret information with the inmates in prison. There are three prisoners, including you, in the special prison you just escaped from. All three cases have a certain common, certain points in common. They do, do they? Tell us more. The rock singer who leaked national secrets of in his lyrics during a TV broadcast. That guy. The curry-loving fellow who took the chief commissioner hostage at the Metro Police Department. Neither of these men had a motive for the crime, and both of their crimes were... impossible. Impossible? The curry lover had no way of knowing how to infiltrate the commissioner's office. And the Rocksteiner had no way of knowing the national secrets he leaked. The Special Investigation Unit submitted an investigative report to me on them. They concluded that these men's criminal acts were not of their own volition. But uh, how could that be? The theory the unit came up with is the existence of a manipulator. 
A manipulator, huh? That's when the special prison was established as a facility to research that theory. Some unknown power has been at work. These past several years, Inspector Cabanella has been studying these cases. He has, has he? Manipulating someone into committing a criminal act. According to the inspector, the first case of its kind was a locked room murder involving our nation's best detective. Are you trying to say I was manipulated somehow into shooting Alma? I appreciate the theory, but unfortunately, I don't recall being controlled by anybody. It's just not possible to manipulate another's behavior like that. My powers certainly don't work on living creatures. That's what I thought when I first heard the theory, too. However, I was seriously mistaken, and it proved to be a big mistake. What? Hmm. Yeah, this is where we're starting to get into okay. the depths of the plot. You mentioned a mistake. Could you tell us about it? I suppose everybody here has the right to know. Alright, fine. I'll speak out loud so that Inspector Cabanella can hear this, too. Mm boy. There's something I'd like the two of you to hear. It's about a mistake I made. Inspector Cabanella, when you first made that report about a manipulator, I'm afraid I didn't believe it at all. Impossible, I thought. Perfectly understandable, Mr. Minister. But I was wrong. That kind of power does exist. And I... I learned the truth of that first hand. What's this? A month ago, I signed the order to carry out Detective Jowd's execution. However, that act wasn't of my own volition. I was being controlled. What? You never told me about this, Mr. Minister! Now it's- that's different, though. What's going on? Th this document? What am I doing? No! I mustn't sign it! Getting thrown in the garbage. Wait! Don't deliver that document! That's when it started. That's when all of my fear, despair, and suffering began. At the time, it didn't even cross my mind that I, I had been manipulated. And my memory of the event was only hazy at best. Hmm, so the memory of being manipulated doesn't clearly remain, eh? Signing execution orders is part of a justice minister's job. At the time, I just thought my psyche was rebelling against the task. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're thinking, aren't you? <laughs> but the next day, it dawned on me. I remembered Inspector Cabanella's report on the existence of a manipulator. As a minister of justice, I couldn't admit what had happened to me. I only signed the execution order because I was being controlled. If something like that got out, our nation's judicial system would crumble! Besides, I had no evidence to present that I had actually been controlled. So in the end, I couldn't admit to anybody what had happened. Hmm, I suppose. But it sounds like a bit of an excuse. You should have at least told us, Mr. Minister. Yes, yes I know I should have. I was running away from the problem. It's weird how somebody- oh. And then my wife found out I was worried about something. Well, if you go around with an expression like that, I guess it's bound to happen. I explained it to her, and she was dead set against the way I was handling it. If you don't withdraw that order and tell everyone the truth immediately, I'm moving out. Good on ya. <laughs> and then, with the kidnapping tonight, with it thrust under my nose like that, I could no longer deny my mistake. 
This manipulator comes upon us from somewhere unseen. That's why I've been keeping my distance from everybody. Ah, oh, yeah. So that's why you've been telling people to stay back. I kind of wondered about that, but... So there's somebody else besides me with the powers of the dead. I'm fine with that. After all, I already knew about a certain desk lamp. What I'm not fine with is the fact that the person can control and manipulate living creatures. That's yeah. certainly not something what I can do. What is this, bloodbending? <laughs> Apparently, different ghosts get different ghost tricks. Ooh. Special. But I never imagined that tonight I would find out where this kind of power comes from. And where it comes from. I Meanwhile, well, the guards are like, what is happening? Inspector Cabanella, this manipulator is a ghost, a departed spirit. A spirit? As a matter of fact, there's this ghost talking to us right now. What? What did you say? Jowd, don't tell me you can hear this ghost too! I'd say the only person who can't hear him is you. The two guards don't exist. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody's acknowledging. Spirit! Ghost? Gods in heaven. Excuse me, Mr. Minister. I suddenly have some urgent business to attend to. I recommend you think long and hard before making your final decision, sir. <laughs> Frantic dance. Inspector! The phone! This is Lynn! I'm at the park! We've been waiting to hear from you! Have you found the evidence? Well, uh, the situation here is... It's kind of difficult to explain. Sizzle, if you're there, come to the park immediately! The weird park king demon is chasing me and being weird! The demon? <laughs> Might as well be a demon. I'm the little lord of He just Lord! hands out fires! He's no he's no weirder than the people who hang out like being like, hey, wanna sign to legalize marijuana, even though it's already been legalized in most <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> like, When I was at college there were people like signed to legalize marijuana. I'm like, no, I don't want to legalize marijuana. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like your help is needed, Sissel. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I guess so. Trick time. Well we could talk to people. <laughs> I mean, I think we're too- Oh no, we can't talk to Jowd. Good call. I never saw that coming. The minister was being controlled, huh? I'm truly sorry, Detective Jowd. I have no excuse to offer you. You know, maybe it was all for the best. What do you mean? If you had never been manipulated, you never would have believed the power existed. After all, you're a realist, right? It just goes to show you, you never know when even the worst fiends can turn out good. Detective Jowd, I... I don't know what to say. Alright, Sissel, you'd better go help Lynn. She's a good kid, but she's got a habit of taking on other people's problems. Yeah, I know. Let's see, she's in Temzik Park, eh? So, before we go, what's kind of your theory on what's going on? I, I've been trying to figure out what is going on, kind of. So we now know there's another ghost out. Yeah, that that was already kind of well known. One thought I had had was the lamp could be evil. Which is fine. That's just very cliche. Um, it the lamp definitely knows more than what he's telling yeah, us. Yeah, 100%. And if we were to go somewhere, I would definitely go to the junkyard first. Um... The other thing is, there's there's a few things that are still, like, loose ends that need to be tied up. One, oh, yeah. Camilla knew how to make this, like, contraption thing, and the same contraption... Is the, in the is Weird in Pigeon the, the Guy's weird basement. Weird Pigeon Guy's basement. I don't know much about him. We haven't talked to him more than <laughs> we, once. We haven't ever talked to him, because yeah. we can't talk to him. <laughs> okay, well, we haven't seen him more than, like, one time. Um, there are the mysterious people... In I'm the parlor. In the parlor. And also, just, like, they were the ones hanging out at Chicken Kitchen, too. They were all hanging out. They kidnapped out. Camilla. Right, they did. So presumably, because Camilla was supposed to go to ki Chicken Kitchen to meet with Lynn, so presumably they kidnapped her on the way. They went to Chicken Kitchen, and that case that, like, they left behind, yeah. Camilla was in there. Right. And that's why he was like, oh, jeez, that would not have been good if I had left that behind. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I kind of figured, given how heavy it was, I was like, there's either some really important documents or... Oh, here's the other thing. Were they, like, going to literally bargain a child In to the make a deal? Well, because they were like, we're waiting for a big deal to go down. 
Yeah, someone they were presumably waiting. waiting for someone, and that someone didn't show, and then they waited at Camilla's old house for the guy to show, and then the guy didn't show. Oh, uh, I see. Maybe they were waiting for Sissel. Maybe they were like, Sissel, you wanna buy this child from us? We'll give you- I don't yeah. know! I don't know! Like- Sissel did have a note in his dead body's pocket yeah. that said Chicken Kitchen 10 a.m. Or 10 p.m. 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. He's a 12 hours late. <laughs> Whoops. Alright. Let's go, you junkyard. Yeah. Hey, a lamp. <laughs> Ray of light. But yeah, if, if the lamp is evil, though, that would mean it's like... Hi. Oh, let us let me guess. He died. Hey, why so quiet? I've been losing my energy, and now I'm dead before I can tell you anything important. Ray? Yeah, just as I thought. W what's going on? Maybe he isn't here anymore? Yeah, Trick time. that's what I thought. The So, there's that. The other thing that was... Whoa, by the way. The it's 1.28 a.m. Oh, um, uh, yeah, in the ladies' apartment. The thing that was interesting... Oh, I guess we can try and go over there. No, we can't do anything over there, because Ray was our only ticket up. Sure. I think that that absolutely could be a possibility then for mm -hmm. what it might have happened. To me though, if, like if if Ray's evil, that's like having the weird sunflower from Undertale be like the Underlord evil demon. Yeah, kind. Of. Like, oh wow, you're so great. Ah! Except he revealed he was evil like immediately. Immediately, yeah. All right, so we're going to the park. <laughs> You've chosen Oscar in the park. park! <laughs> Super's office, chicken kitchen. <laughs> Super size me. Oh, I forgot about the basement. <laughs> the kitchen. Camilla's old house. We might have all the phone numbers now. Okay. Part of me really wants to go back to the kitchen. <laughs> okay, yeah, Just why not? Just see what's happening. See what memory's doing. Yeah. And, or what and the, the chef. Check, the the, the check. check. Check, please! <laughs> He's not here! Nobody's here! Hmm, it's not like the restaurant is closed. Where's the chef? Chef is the evil underlord. <laughs> it's just not the same without his singing. I guess I can come back here later if I want to hear him sing again. <laughs> the chef is Ray. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> Beam, da, da, da. Wait, now so I'm people could literally just see. go into Chick-fil-A and be like, Hey, yeah, uh, I'm robbing the place. Nobody's here. We'll Except see. this weird undercover agent who's actually like a waitress. Trick time! Oh, there's just nobody here. But the lights are all on! Way to conserve energy, Chick fil A workers. Well, but maybe it's like schools. This is school this is literally Chick fil A like if it was like a sit down restaurant. Like, and fancy. Chick fil A is a sit down restaurant. It's fast food. Yeah. I'm talking if it's like an actual, like. It's cold, yeah. Come in this we gotta go to the park. There's nothing anywhere else. Okay. It's gonna be the end of the chapter, though. I like it. It is. <laughs> I'd be willing to do it ever. Okay. After that, no, no. <laughs> yeah. After that, it'll be chapter like, fifteen to the end. We probably want to do in one. In one big sitting. Probably. Okay. Lynn calls and I oblige. I take off toward Temsic Park, the place where clearly something big is taking place. The manipulator. The person whose very existence sheds new light on everything. Detective Jout's crime, the execution orders, and even my own death. Could it be? Could Lynn have been manipulated into shooting me? Oh, I hadn't even- that hadn't even crossed my mind. Cause she's like, I don't remember! Like, she, like what yeah. happened? Yeah. And also, remember the security footage, she like waved- she hurt- she was shaking. Yeah, she was shaking. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Save the game progress, yeah. Okay, I was one. I couldn't remember if we learned about the manipulator this ep chapter or the next chapter. Look forward to next chapter, everybody. Things are gonna get awesome. And next chapter, no, we're, we're not it playing. In French. And not, we are not playing it in French. And then everyone will understand the beautiful French language. None. You you learn you learn all of the French language in one episode of Ghost Trick. Anyhow, really look forward to that next time. I really hope you join in. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.